Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Danielle and today we are going to do a keto diet update on my weight loss journey, how I'm losing weight on keto, low carb diet, all the things. So if you guys are here for it, please stay tuned. Hey friends, welcome back. I am here checking in to see how your two week progress went. Remember two weeks ago, um, we said, hey, we're gonna challenge ourselves for two weeks. Instead of doing a month, we're gonna do two week increments and challenge ourselves. So mine was to watch my eating, obviously, to get in six workouts, and I forget what the other one was, but I know those were my two big ones. And I'm happy to report that I did very, very, very well. I was able to get my workouts in, I watched my eating. You guys have been seeing, um, my eating has cleaned up dramatically. Um, so I went to the doctor, I've been having some eczema issues, and, um, like my just skin has been really acting up it's been really painful and they had suggested either to it could be like um, a flare from like a gluten allergy or maybe a lactose issue um, so I just went through and I cut back on a lot of the breads wraps and stuff like that and I've noticed that it has gotten a lot better so I'm um, still staying with the lactose I, you know I do the I have cut back on cheeses just because I felt like I was just eating too much of it and it was like causing my stomach to bother me um, but I can say this. I can also say that I have lost weight. I have, you know, I've been steadily sitting that that's 173, 175. I just actually walked out of the bathroom right now and it's 1120. And I can tell you that on the scale, I am 171.9. Boom. I am getting there. I'm really excited. Um, I feel really good. I feel like I don't feel puffy. I feel um, like really slim I feel like my midsection's really just coming back together I was feeling a little bloated there for the first few days um, when I started to incorporate a lot more like fresh vegetables and stuff which is normal um, just because they are fibrous foods so you will get a little bloated uh, yeah so I'm pretty happy I've been getting a lot of positive feedback too on the full days of eating I'm sharing they're like your food looks so fresh I'm really digging it I am incorporating more carbs um, I'm not counting people are like how many carbs I don't know I can't tell you um, but I'm still staying low carb testing my ketones I haven't really um, tested that I was testing daily now I'm doing it like every three days or so and um, some days I'm kicked out I'm not gonna lie and some days I'm just reading a 0.5 or a 0.6 um, but I feel good uh, you know, I, I, I feel really good. And that's that's the name of the game. It doesn't have to be a label. Um, what I did want to come on here and talk about too was um, YouTube in general, YouTube. Um, I feel like probably in the last three, four months, I've noticed, I know a lot of people I talk to that are, you know, uh, YouTubers as well, I've noticed that their views have declined and people, I don't know if it's just that people are kind of just over keto or they're over, their weight loss journey and they're like shit it's a pandemic I don't give a shit if I'm gaining weight right now like I gotta worry about other things and honestly maybe some people are just like hey Danielle your shit's a little redundant and you would do the same thing so um I wanted to tell you guys this to kind of like bring it to attention that I want to start incorporating a lot more other lifestyle influence things on the channel so um a, a big chunk of it you know you guys know usually on Saturdays I'll do like a vlog style where I'll do like fashion or whatever you know family vlogs um, I'm gonna start um, incorporating a lot more um, I was wanted your guys suggestions but I really wanted to start doing more beauty videos I feel like beauty videos are not out anymore I feel like all the beauty gurus have converted over to lifestyle so maybe some like real easy makeup tutorials I get a lot of requests for them on like on Instagram but you know um, I just want to make sure it's something you guys want to see um, we're still gonna do full days of eating um, if you guys have any other things I think I'm gonna do like some like what's for breakfast what's for lunch um, I would like to do some more routines like a day in the life of like e-learning um, you know morning routines fall evening routines I love those routine videos I think they're like really aesthetically pleasing um, I've also been really into like true crime YouTubers lately and I was like damn I love true crime we could talk about it all you want so we could do some of those I just feel like um, if I have to put out video a video every day for seven days a week just to touch on the things that I feel like are fun um, to kind of like just spice up the thing because I feel like yeah I, I do keto I do a low carb diet I am on a weight loss journey I will forever be on a weight loss journey but like that's just not who I am I'm I'm, I'm Danielle I'm 
you know, Rebecca, Sophia, and Rhea's mom, and I'm Leo's wife, and I'm Mindy's daughter, Mike's daughter, Rhiannon's sister, you know, like, I'm so much more than, like, hey, guys, let me show you what I'm eating today, you know, and I just feel like, um, I don't know, why not, you know, um, so I want to, also, I wanted to address this really quickly, because I've been getting a lot of questions, Leo did hurt his shoulder, he did hurt his shoulder, he has been out, he's down and out, um, he's in a lot of pain, we did a cortisone injection, and it made it way worse, um, as soon as that finally calmed down, it, it, it's, it's messed up. So, um, we don't know to the extent of how messed up it is. Okay. Um, so he's going for the initial MRI that I was able to schedule for him wasn't until November. I ended up finding another place that's taking him in because he has to do a anthrogram, which is like a contrast in his shoulder and it's a specialty you know so um i was able to actually get him in some place this wednesday so and then he has his follow-up with his ortho on thursday so we will have the answers by the end of the week um he's still in a lot of pain he still sleeps maybe two three hours a night and he's up down a lot um it, we're just waiting you know so that's been kind of stressful but you know it's been nice to have him home and stuff like that but you know it's just it's a lot and then we got the kids with school and then you know i had some stuff going on so um yeah it's been kind of crazy but nonetheless um the reason why i was getting to that is we are going to have to persevere and push on with this basement renovation um we kind of just stopped everything because obviously leo was doing all the work and obviously he couldn't so um <laughs> i'm gonna do it so I'm gonna start sharing you sharing those videos with you guys as well. Um, I'm gonna start doing the framing and the wood cutting and everything. Um, Leo and my dad are kind of teaching me how to go about it, and yeah, you know, um, we gotta carry on. We gotta make sure that everything is is going up to speed, and the show must go on. So uh, my dad's gonna help, and then Leo's dad said he would come over and help me as well, and then Leo will kind of be there just watching. Unfortunately, he can't do anything. But um, stay tuned for those videos. I might be missing a finger. Joking. I'm not going to miss a finger. But um, yeah. Um, a lot of people also been asking me about, uh, you know, if I still considered myself keto because I'm not eating uh, the ketogenic way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Because I'm still in a keto bet ketogenic metabolic rate. So yeah, I definitely consider myself still keto. I'm just eating lower carb. Um, I'm not strict on the net carbs. Um, but that works for me. If that doesn't work for you, that's okay. You know, um, I, I'm not doing like dirty, dirty carb ups, you know, where you're like eating, you know, I don't know. I think there are like dirty carb ups because there's like, when I used to be really into like weightlifting, there was like when you would do carb up days and you would like do a dirty carb up. So you would do like cookies and cheeseburgers and I'm not doing any of that. I'm just doing um, a lot of fresh vegetables, lots of fresh veggies um yogurts you guys seen it uh the cottage cheese stuff like that stuff that's working for me um and my stomach has never been happier uh i can honestly admit tell you that we are doing a-okay here um another thing i wanted to address too aside from the equip vitamins you guys know i love equip i've been taking them forever um i also started adding in a turmeric supplement that was recommended to me and leo for inflammation for arthritis and stuff like that so i've been taking that and it's been going really well um i haven't noticed anything really different um i can't say if it's working i can't say if it's not um but you know anti-inflammatory and turmeric is super super good for you fun fact um in india their alzheimer's rate is like well now it's a little bit more because um they've had like um you know more fast food chains get there but for years and years their um, alzheimer's rate was very very low because of turmeric because it does um they say it helps prevent the occurrence of the onset of Alzheimer's. So um, I used to work with um, um, this Indian lady and she would always tell me, uh, you know, how to take it and stuff like that. Black peppers, if you want to do it fresh and ground it, make sure you add some black pepper to it. Pop that in, you're good. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I really wanted to address that and then see what you guys think. I know, I, I appreciate everybody here. I know there's a lot of people who are still watching me who do Weight Watchers, and I, I appreciate you guys being here with me and sticking with me. Um, I'm not, a lot of people said, are you gonna quit keto? I'm not quitting nothing. I'm just doing it my way. Um, 
you know, it gets kind of, like I said, I, and I'm not going to keep re repeating myself, it gets kind of tiresome trying to do what everybody else is doing, and I've never been one to follow the crowd, so that's why I've always, you know, maybe that's why my channel grows so small, like so little, or maybe because I'm, I'm still, you know, a pretty small person, but that's just who I am, I've just never been one to do what everybody else is doing. I always like to be my own individual person, not saying that what they're doing is bad or wrong or whatever, but that just works for them. That's where they're at on their journey, and I applaud them for that. Um, but I, like I said, I just kind of feel like, I don't know, I just feel like you guys are bored. I mean, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like um, it's just, I know, I do a lot of full days of eating. I might start cutting back on those a little bit. I might throw one in, you know, maybe once a week. I don't know. Um, they're kind of just, they're easy for me, you know, like I'm here and I'm eating, so I just pick up the camera and I show you guys. Um, this week though, I am going to be making um, a soup, so I'm gonna go ahead and show that with you guys. So it's gonna be like a what's for dinner, like comfort food recipe. Um, it's gonna be like Hispanic inspired, um, caldo de pollo, which is like a chicken soup. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So that'll be coming up this week. And I don't know, I'm kind of gonna wing it and see what else. I think I'm gonna do a lot more what's for dinners and you know, individual recipes. It's fall, so I wanna do a lot more comfy foods. Um, you know, I've done, I've been doing a little bit more desserts and, you know, hauls and stuff like that. But if you guys are interested in seeing anything, let me know. I do know that a lot of guys are asking for like nail tutorials too. Cause you guys know I've been doing my nails at home. Uh, I'm still working on perfecting that. It's going to take me a while, but you know, hopefully, um, it'll be up maybe like next month or something. Um, but I don't know. Let me know. How are you guys doing? Did that two week challenge work for you guys? You guys want to do another one? Let me know, what are your feelings? Are you guys just kind of like, <sighs> I don't know, I mean, I know what to eat. That's like a good recipe. I don't know, like, what do you guys think? Let me know. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, friends. Mm -hmm.